Welcome to the rugged terrain of the big country, a 1958 cinematic gem that stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of classic Hollywood westerns. As the dust settles on the sprawling landscapes, one cannot help but wonder which iconic actor left the most indelible mark on your viewing experience. Perhaps it was Charlton Heston, whose stoic presence added depth to the film's narrative, or maybe Gregory Peck, whose portrayal of a man caught in the crossfire of feuding families resonated with your sensibilities. The Big Country's ensemble cast, featuring legends of the silver screen, invites reflection on the performances that left a lasting imprint. Before we delve into the nuances of this Western masterpiece, we're curious who among these classic Hollywood actors was your favorite, and what drew you to their portrayal. Share your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear your perspective. Now, as we ride into the cinematic plains of the big country, let's uncover some intriguing tidbits about this timeless classic. Did you know that the film's director, William Wyler, opted for an unconventional use of music, employing only the main theme to enhance pivotal moments, creating a distinctive auditory experience? This deliberate choice adds a layer of authenticity to the vast landscapes that serve as the backdrop to the unfolding drama. Furthermore, the film's thematic exploration of honor, pride, and the futility of violence against the backdrop of the American West offers a captivating narrative that transcends its time of production. The Big Country is more than a tale of dueling families. It's a reflection on the human condition and the face of moral quandaries. Before we conclude our journey through this cinematic landscape, we're eager to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the big country. What resonated with you, and how has this classic left an imprint on your cinematic journey? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. So, saddle up and join the conversation. Your insights enrich the tapestry of cinematic appreciation. What classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite, and what lasting memories do you hold dear? We look forward to hearing from you. In the big country, Burl Ives, one of the actors, had a positive experience working with director William Wyler. Ives mentioned that he found Wyler delightful and never got annoyed with him. Despite Wyler's enigmatic approach, Ives appreciated the learning experience and the challenge of figuring things out. Interestingly, the film stands out as the only one featuring Gregory Peck and his sons Jonathan Peck, Kerry Paul Peck, and Stephen Peck. This unique family connection adds a distinct element to the movie, showcasing a rare collaboration among family members in the entertainment industry. In a notable equestrian detail, Steve Leach, a character in the film, rides a striking black and white paint horse. This same horse reappears in The Stalking Moon, another film starring Gregory Peck, where it is ridden by the Apache Chief Salvage. The continuity of the horse's presence adds a touch of familiarity for those familiar with both movies. These behind-the-scenes insights and unique aspects contribute to the distinctiveness of the big country, making it a noteworthy piece of cinema history. The collaboration between Burl Ives and William Wyler, the family connection with the Pecks, and the recurring horse character all add layers to the film's narrative and production. President Dwight D. Eisenhower, a film enthusiast, held the big country in high regard. After four consecutive screenings at the White House, he declared it to be simply the best film ever made. My number one favorite film. This presidential endorsement speaks volumes about the impact and quality of the 1958 movie. Eisenhower's praise provides a unique perspective, showcasing the film's significance beyond the entertainment realm. Such recognition from the highest office in the United States undoubtedly contributed to the movie's lasting legacy and widespread acclaim. In the midst of the Cold War era, with geopolitical tensions at their peak, the big country took on an unexpected role. According to Gregory Peck, the film's star and co-producer, director William Wyler intended it to be a left-wing allegory for the Cold War. Peck, known for his strong convictions, believed that the United States should have maintained positive relations with the Soviet Union and China after World War II. This political undercurrent adds depth to the narrative, turning a seemingly straightforward Western into a thought-provoking commentary on the global political landscape of the time. Despite the film's success, there was internal discord regarding its musical score. Director Wyler initially despised Jerome Moros' composition and sought to replace him. However, the audience's enthusiastic response, particularly to the opening theme, convinced star and co-producer Gregory Peck to intervene. 
Moros not only retained his role, but went on to earn an Oscar nomination for his work. The score is now regarded as a classic in the Western genre, showcasing how initial disagreements can lead to artistic triumph. In conclusion, The Big Country from 1958 transcends the typical Western narrative, gaining accolades from none other than President Eisenhower himself. Its unexpected role as a Cold War allegory, coupled with the behind-the-scenes tension over the musical score, adds layers to its legacy. The film stands as a testament to the complexities of filmmaking and the unpredictable paths that lead to cinematic greatness. The Big Country, a 1958 film, shares more than just its release year with Anthony Mann's Man of the West. Both movies were crafted by the same set designer, Edward G. Boyle. Notably, the Hennessy Hideout, ranch in the Big Country, is the exact location used for the ghost town of Lasso in the final act of Man of the West. The shared setting adds a layer of interconnectedness to these Western productions, revealing a practical side of filmmaking where resources were maximized. Amidst the rugged landscapes and Western drama, a peculiar behind-the-scenes detail involves actor Slim Pickens doubling for Gregory Peck in a horse-riding scene. Pickens, who owned the horse, was adamant about his involvement, showcasing a unique aspect of the film's production dynamics. However, the set wasn't devoid of tension. Tempers flared, notably between director William Wyler and Charles Bickford. Their antagonistic relationship, stemming from their past collaboration on Hell's Heroes, resurfaced. Wyler's penchant for numerous retakes clashed with Bickford's crankiness, creating an interesting dynamic on set. These intriguing faced shared settings with another notable Western, Slim Pickens' unconventional involvement in a key scene, and the clash of personalities on set underscore the complexities involved in bringing the big country to life. Each detail adds a distinct layer to the film's narrative, showcasing the intricacies of its production. As we bid adieu to the cinematic landscape of the big country, let the echoes of its vast, untamed terrain resonate within you. Allow the sweeping landscapes and poignant characters to linger, like the fading notes of a timeless melody. In the quiet aftermath of this 1958 masterpiece, take a moment to traverse the landscapes of your own experiences. The Big Country is more than celluloid, it's a mirror reflecting the vast expanse of human emotions and the nuanced interplay of courage, love, and rivalry. As you navigate the recesses of your memory, recall the moments that stirred your soul echoes of Gregory Peck's stoic resolve, the thunderous clash of two worlds, and the delicate dance of morality in the face of adversity. Now, dear reader, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share with us the fragments of your personal connection with the Big Country. Perhaps it's a cherished family tradition, an unexpected revelation, or a quiet realization that unfolded in the shadows of this cinematic epic. Your narrative adds another layer to the rich tapestry of this film's legacy. Engage with us. Spark a conversation in the comments. Let the digital corridors resonate with your reflections. Whether a seasoned aficionado or a newcomer captivated by the allure of the Old West, your voice is a vital chord in the symphony of shared experiences. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey, for unraveling the threads of your connection with the big country. Your tales breathe life into the celluloid, forging a collective bond that transcends time and space. Until our paths cross again, happy reflections, and may your cinematic adventures be as vast and captivating as the landscapes that unfold on the silver screen.